Okay, the lathe, the wooden lathe that they sell to uh, uh, Harbor Freight, it's a good lathe, but it has ser several of the uh, problems. The number one problem is that the motor is a two-third horsepower and it's a little bit under power for a 12-inch swing. Now everybody knows about this problem. Every time you're trying to cut something that's a bigger diameter, you stall it or you slow it down. So, as, and another problem is that it doesn't have a reverse. So if you, for example, you're hollowing something deep, it's hard to see and you have to walk around the other side of the lathe and if you can't do that, you have to have your head way over on the other side of the lathe to figure out what you're doing. But if you can reverse it, you can work on the other side of the face or the, 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 other, the other side of the inside face. So I tried to remedy all those problems. Now, I found a direct current motor that was two and three quarter horsepower that used to belong to a thread mill. The thread mills uh, had a, a, a very cumbersome system to adjust the speed, but I have found a black box and in, uh, in the internet that's only about 40 bucks and uh, it does the job very well. It reverses it and you can adjust the speed extremely easy. On top of that I found a, uh, a, uh, a, a counter to tell me what the speed of the lathe is doing. It's convenient for set presets sometimes. You find a speed that works with a certain tool and a certain diameter and you want to repeat it so you know you remember the RPMs and then you know it's, it's easier to try to tend. It's not necessary but it's, it is uh, convenient. Let me show you the motor I found on the internet and we go from there. All I had to do is build a bracket and then everything else I left it the way it was. I just removed the old motor I build a bracket and then I use the same holes the other motor had to to be mounted. So it's, it's, it was the simplest, not as simple as easy thing to do. So let me show you the motor, okay? This is the motor I found. It used to belong to a uh, to a, a treadmill, an exercising treadmill look at the, at the label, it's a permanent magnet motor and it's got two and three quarter horsepower, 130 volts DC. It's 15 amps, 6500 RPM maximum. And the CW rotation, but you can uh, return for it. If you reverse the polarities on the wires, uh, uh, it'll rotate the other way. It's a permanent magnet motor anyways. And it's made for uh, Profundum Fitness, Logan, Utah. Well, this thing is a two and three quarter motor and that's all you need. The way we have now is two third horsepower. So this thing, you can adjust the speed and then you can adjust the, the power to it. Plenty of power. Now let's go to the installation. Okay, this is the installation. Here you have the motor, and that is the same pulley they had when I had my, my other motor installed, the regular motor installed. All I did is build a C bracket. Let me show you this. Oops, sorry. Now you can see this is the C bracket. Let me get something before I get my hand. That's too big. This is the C bracket I built that goes from one side or the other of the motor and it holds on the bracket the motor came with. So I didn't have to modify the motor or I didn't have to do no I just built this C bracket right here and I bolted down to where the uh, old motor used to be bolted down. And then to maintain tension on the on the to main tension on the belt all I did was to put a block of wood out here and a wedge 
I'm sorry, it's the wrong way. Put the block of wood in a wedge, and if I need to, the more you need to tighten it, the more. But you don't want it to tighten it, you know, as long as it doesn't slip, it's fine. Let me show you again the, uh, the, uh, the system on the front side. I can, you can, as you can see uh, here, the uh, the motor doesn't have a big belt pulley. However, they have this uh, this uh, different type of belt that has a bunch of serrations. Now, I put the same belt that it was on the on the uh, on the lathe originally. I used the same belt. And I put it all over this serrated pulley, and I didn't have any problem. I thought I might have any problem, going to slip, and it wouldn't work. It worked it just like a charm. Don't pro no problem at all. Okay, so the distance, the belt, everything, uh, it left the same. The only thing was this motor was different, and uh, I have a different. Uh, I don't have a V belt out here. I got this serrated one. Okay. Now, by the way, this, uh, let me get the pencil again before I get my hand in front of the camera. This thing right here is a magnetic pickup. I glue a magnet over here. It's a magnet out there, and every time the magnet goes through the pickup, it sends a pulse, and that's how it counts the RPMs. Okay, first I'm gonna, sh first I'm gonna show you the control box it's about forty dollars on the internet and it's well worth it we have a reverse uh, forward and reverse button we had a jog button and we have the speed controller this is uh, run and resume and so you want to pause uh, and this is the, the lever I use more is a forward and reverse so uh, I don't know if you can see it turning. That's going forward. And now it's reverse. You can see it works very nicely. This is the, uh, let's go back forward. This is the uh, speed controller. RPM or something like that if you, if you want to for example spray any lacquer or any finish you know you can go down to to a very low speed so it won't be splattering the um, the finish away because so right now it's about 17 RPMs 18 RPMs perfect and how I know the RPM because I can see the the meter out here how fast it's turning the uh, box I attached it I attached the box with uh, double-sided tape and uh, it is nice as, as it's going to be so I didn't have to drill this lathe all I have to do to bring it back to the original is just to remove the box remove the, the motor I install and put the old motor in same chain same uh, same motor, same belt, same everything. So, as you see, I'm very happy with the conversion, and uh, I'm many very happy with the with the results that motor gave. You know, this uh, triple the amount of power that I had before, and a much wider range of speeds, and a much wider uh, flexibility because I had reverse and forward. Okay. Any questions, please, and I'll uh, put it on the co comment and I'll return it. Thank you.